Hey y'all, we're uh, back to work on the old side pod here. I'm uh, getting ready to do this this return flange or the uh, the lower flange of this part. Um, I don't know if it's just the Brits, English, what they're doing. Uh, I told you, you know the the glass here. It looks like they either pigment the resin or they're mixing gel right in to their resin or something because this I mean when you grind it so the glass should be white uh, or clear transparent and as you're grinding down this is raw glass here that we're past the gel that that made up the corner from the inside that sharp corner of the mold right uh, but it's still red so um, I run into this once with a, an old Elva Courier 5960 Elva Courier it's a fiberglass body British car kind of like a Cobra uh, I guess, but it's actually wrapped fiberglass right around the tube frame. And uh, I had to do a lot of repair work to it and then cut the body off and, and put new panels on from the molds I took off the repaired body. And uh, it was the same way, except it was yellow. It had a yellow look. At first I thought it was just so old that the glass had yellowed, you know, but... Um, I don't know why they what they do in England if they just can't get clear transparent resin like we do or if they just pigment it to hide the sin so you can't see the air bubbles in it or something or what I don't know but uh, uh, anyway it the look of the repair as you're as you're finding good healthy uh, grinding down to the good healthy stuff to do the repair on uh, it, the look is a little different as you see here you want to uh, this this stuff all this stuff here looked just like this right here right it was all busted up and broken like this here and i'm just grinding through the gel that 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 or just that build up a gel from inside the mold to get down to the glass and you also have to get past all the loose and broken bits right and there's a void there a little air void there um you don't want to fill that stuff in with bondo because uh, what for one bondo is polyester but it's cheap crap uh, when it comes to mixing it with glass and, and gel um and it, it, this piece being black sitting out in the sun at the racetrack if uh, if i was to fill all this this area here that i ground out after we glassed it up this is actually the filler that i put in from the back side right this is the glass here from here to here this red stuff is the gel this is actually bondo from somebody who's been in here before and then this is paint um, so I actually hogged it out like so to be able to lay a patch of glass in here to strengthen it up and then we'll knock it down and do a little body working. But you want to use very minimal amounts of Bondo on this stuff. You put any amount of Bondo on here and when it sits in the sun, you'll actually see when it heats up, you'll be able to see where you put Bondo on it because it shrinks like nobody's business, that Bondo. And um, it shrinks at a much quicker and higher rate than any of the other polyester that we're using. So uh, you want to stay away from the Bondo if you can at all. Use Make your own filler if you can. Um, unless it's just little pinholes like that you want to fill, you know, like spot putty type stuff. But we'll go ahead and, and, uh, and, and, and chip away at this stuff and find out where the loose bits end. And so we may leave a little of this here. I may end up just taking it all off. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the piece that I cut from that stuff we laid up on the uh, window glass. And uh, we mark this out first before we start grinding on this outside edge, right? We do that from experience. And we'll fit it to the inside. We left it long so it'll hang over. Let me see if I can get you some of that. And what we'll do is we'll use that as a, as a filling tray. And we'll refill this whole radius here of glass with the glue, the uh, the bonding agent we're going to use to glue this piece on. And uh, I'll show you that in the next video when we're ready to glue it, what it is. But it's got uh, it's two parts, like like clear epoxy, a hardener, and a catalyst. And it's got a mixing tip that's about six inches long, and the stuff mixes together in the tip as it goes. Um, it's very pricey. They use this stuff, I think I've probably told you before, to glue stainless steel uh, U-shaped leading edge pieces of stainless steel to the length of carbon fiber helicopter blades. So in case that blade, you know, hits dirt, dust in, in the desert or, or birds or whatever, any kind of debris, 
um, it doesn't it doesn't uh, doesn't compromise the carbon fiber of the wing or of the uh, blade itself. So that's it. Uh, it's really good 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 glue. Um, we've literally glued that Elva Courier car together with it um, without using any fiberglass. We literally glued the panels that we made for it back on. So that's where we're at. We're uh, going to go ahead and finish up that that outside edge. Um, actually pieces of it here where there's the old stuff doesn't even exist anymore. We're going to go ahead and, and replace it all. And when we get done, when we're completely done, as always, we'll back paint this flat black. And uh, not only will you not know that we've been here, you'll know because RPM has done it. All right, we'll talk to you all later. Saturday afternoon, race in Roseville.